Oh. Hi guys, I uh, can't believe this is what my life has come to. Never before did I think I would sit down and discuss this topic in such disturbing detail. But here we are. My channel is slowly devolving into a space where I just share my most embarrassing moments. You know, it's not like diaries exist or anything. Yeah. Before we continue with today's video, I just want to give a big shout out to today's sponsor, Audible. Audible is a leading provider of spoken word entertainment and has a selection of titles bigger than you'll find anywhere else. Their newest subscription plan, Audible Plus, is amazing. It allows you to listen to thousands of audiobooks, entertainment and podcasts, as well as ad-free versions of your favourite shows and exclusive series. There's even self-improvement content to take advantage of too, including guided fitness, meditation and sleep tracks. I've recently decided to delve into the Hunger Games trilogy again and the experience of listening is so much more immersive for me. Canadian actress Tatiana Maslany does the narration for all three books and absolutely nails it. She's able to switch her tone between characters and build tension through her pacing, making it feel like you are the protagonist involved in the story. Because of this, I found it just as engaging as the film, except instead of sitting in front of a screen, I could be doing chores or I could go for a walk at the same time. Audible has been really helpful in keeping Keeping me entertained during these less interesting jobs, and if you've never read or watched The Hunger Games before, I highly recommend this being your entry into the fandom. And some great news, Audible Plus is available free for you guys for your first 30 days. Just visit audible.com slash jellyj or text jellyj to 500 500. That's audible.com slash jellyj or text jellyj to 500 500. But anyway, as you see in the title, I will be discussing the horrific topic of... Pipples! <laughs> that was off. <laughs> Why is Michael Jackson here? I am so done with this already. Pimples are just amazing, the greatest of pals sometimes. Who will join you on your daily adventures? But Jess, how are us pimples formed? Haha, <laughs> good question. Not weird at all. Haha, <laughs> let me tell you about your birth story. Forget I said that last bit. Pimples like to rock up when there's a combination of dead skin and oil buildup, which clogs the pores and hair follicles. As you know, our skin does not vibe with this. It causes redness, swelling, pain, and pus collection. Uh, is anyone feeling sick already? That was so mean. Pimples most commonly occur during puberty, but they can actually strike at any age. They can be found in areas other than the face too, including your back, neck, shoulders, and chest. Technically though, they can appear anywhere. There are also mild and severe types of pimples. Mild, blackheads and whiteheads. Severe, pupples, <laughs> pustules, <laughs> cysts, and noodles. <laughs> How fascinating! Please tell me more fun facts about- That is something everyone recommends you not to do. And that is where my shameful story begins. Growing up, I was fortunate enough not to be cursed with tons of acne. I only got the odd one or two here and there. And if you want to know my secret, well, I washed my face sometimes and the rest was luck. However, sometimes I would get what's known as a blind pimple. Don't even ask me what categories these <laughs> monsters belong in. I think they are just homeless. Sometime last year, I woke up to discover an itty bitty tiny baby blind pimple. Sorry, I'll stop trying to cover up the filthiness with sarcastic cute editing. This bad boy was located right here, between my nose and mouth. This wasn't my first rodeo though, so I was smart about it. Yeehaw! 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 I didn't touch it. Woo! Yeah! 
This thing was just chilling all day, and after my shower later that night, I thought I could see a head on it now. In other words, it looked poppable. I thought I was mistaken, and this wasn't actually a blind pimple. Uh, a good rule of thumb is to not pop pimples in general. I mean, we all still do, but uh... <laughs> but especially not blind pimples. You will regret it. I squeezed this thing with quite some force. Dumb choice. I thought I could get the stuff out of it. You don't have to do this, bro. When I stopped touching it, I could feel it pulsating. I can't deal with this. No, 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 you stupid. This is why you don't follow your heart. Hey. Come on. No, please. Oh my god. Ah! Now this is why they tell you to leave them alone. I still had hope though. Maybe I was just overreacting because I was in the moment. Maybe people wouldn't notice it as much as me. Okay, okay, I gotta play it cool and everything will be fine. Hi guys. Hey Jess, I- <gasps> <gasps> oh. This had to be one of the dumbest mistakes I've ever made, especially when I knew what I was getting myself into. Sure, I expected my skin to be a little sore and likely have some redness, but I went above and beyond to give myself a poorly done home job lip injection. To make matters worse, I did this to myself the night before attending my first day doing a new course I enrolled into. <laughs> Night turned to day. <gasps> Good morning! Oh no. This thing doubled in size overnight and looked absolutely ridiculous. This would easily be the most horrifying first impression for my teacher and classmates. <laughs> Hello! I didn't want to miss my first day, so I made some calculated plans. And by that, I mean I completely panicked. I frantically googled things like pimple face how to fix while pacing around my home. The results were routines which took days to see results, but there was one option I actually had time for. <laughs> yep. Holding ice on it. You know those ice bricks that you put in lunchboxes and eskies? Well, that's what I used. I made sure they were constantly in contact with my face for the entire hour and a half drive to the campus. To my surprise, this technique actually worked. The swelling went down a lot, and by the time I arrived, I just had a red, numb mouth which fortunately wasn't as scary. One week later. Swollen lip Jess was long gone at this point, but my pimple friend was still hanging around. He wasn't going anywhere. I would still put ice on it almost every night, which I highly recommend, and I even steamed my face with hot water in a sink and a towel over my head. Finally, my pimp friend was not blind anymore, and now it was time to end things. Round two. One week later. Round three. It was time for the big weapons, because just like the Australian military, going up against a bunch of emus, this was a war I wasn't winning. A little pin. This obviously caused some redness, but it was now on the path to healing. The pain was no more. The battle was won. Again, a bit of advice, don't do this because it could potentially leave scarring. I got pretty lucky though, but I wouldn't take the same risk again. So what lesson did we learn from this? There's a cheaper alternative to professional lip injections. Uh, but what else? To follow our hearts. No. Hey! Well, that's the best answer we're going to get. If you're about to go through this stage, you're currently enduring it, or even if you're my age and you just need a friendly reminder.
this is it. 